Hi again, tonight. Um, several years ago on New Year's Eve, me and my friends had a party. Well, he lived in a training court, okay? Well, one of the guys, four trailers down, he was moving out. So it's, so he, he was past due on his rent about four months. So he's trying to skip paying rent so to move out. Well, it rained that day, okay? Well, New Year's Eve, uh, my friend says, well, we, we, we need to help this guy. I, I said, why? I said, well, you'll find out what happened. We walked down there. And uh, what the idiot did, he parked this huge, huge U-Haul truck, okay? 20-foot U-Haul truck, all right? Well, we know it rained that night. He loaded everything in that truck and a live snake in the back of the truck with all his furniture and stuff. He left his son in the front seat of the U-Haul truck. The problem was he got the tr the truck so heavy it was sunk in the mud, and uh, between me and my friends, I said, "Well, I know how to get the thing out." So, get the truck out without sneaking any more. Well, when I was doing this. Trying to get this out. Guy came on. This is after he told us, after I moved, trying to back up the truck. He uh, he told me that uh, he tried to move before. This is pitch dark. Okay, I didn't know how far. Didn't know how far he sunk the truck. So, all right. Took us all the way through midnight. And two tow trucks, we broke their towing rope. That was that bad, trying to move this truck. I'm back and forth, backing up, trying to get the thing move out of there. We're all laughing our heads off. I said, this is about the one year we all should remember every year about this moving truck. Because these guys skipped the rent. And uh, there was about 12 of us. Everybody in the whole training court came by, started watching us. Come up ideas. Well, one of the guys says, well, my friend had one of those big, big ass cranes. I said, well, if we broke two tow truck ropes, that would work. Um, so we went over his friend's house. He says, who knows how to drive this? My friend says, Randy can drive anything. He can drive. It's okay. Yeah, well, let's drive it. Well, they found out the thing that uh, the battery went dead. I thought that was just would have been helpful. So we went back. I kept on back now. Ran over to. I angled the truck where the porch was. There was a solid cement slab, porch. So I said, well, I'm going to try to angle it out towards the porch so I can be able to get up to it. Well, I got it on the porch. Next thing I know, I broke the cement. It slid me back into the crevice where I had dug deeper in the mud. We're all trying to figure out what the hell. So we finally found another guy calling out a tow truck. I said, I'll put it in drive. I won't put it in neutral. I'll put it in drive, I'll just reverse full power. Well, he pulls. 
That's what finally got it all out. We looked at the whole, all oh, that whole yard was a wreck. You can build a swimming pool. And that cement dry cement porch, it was a disaster. It looked like a earthquake or something just destroyed it. Well, the following Monday, the landlord came out, wanted to get the rent from these guys. Well, no one talked about that what happened that night. Everyone kept their mouth closed. <laughs> and uh, my friend says, I didn't tell, we didn't tell who it was who got them out. But the landlord was very upset when he saw a hole in the yard, the cement slab of porch area it was broke. He wasn't very happy. At the end, those guys who moved out, trashed the trailer, and he never, I guess he never got the rent money. He had me and my friend, uh, Chris, he helped down there and stuff, and he says, I wish I knew where he went to. I would hunt his ass down and come up with a rent. As much as damage it, they did to that trailer, I said, well, at least we had fun to remember our, our New Year's Eve party. So, now the time, me and my friend, he had a car problem. I, he had to get his car to uh, where his mom's house is, and that's out in the country, the next town. I had a Pontiac station wagon. I don't know, it's like a 85 Pontiac station wagon. Um, I told him, well, he had a Chevy Noah, a 79 Chevy Noah. It was all metal. I was pulling him along, taking him back ways, okay, so we wouldn't get caught of place asking why you're pulling this. So we took the back way. Luckily, where we live, we can get anywhere on the back roads, like the Dukes of Hazard type people. Well, we are going along. He had no power. He couldn't get started. Well, next thing I know, I looked in my rear mirror. mirror he, he disappeared. I slowed down. It's like, where did he go? I looked in the back. Where did he go? Next thing I know, he's right past me on my driver's side. I said, wait a minute. There's no power to that car. How's it going? I guess enough speed I took. And it unlatched. He, he, he went over so he wouldn't run, it, run into me. <laughs> he went past. I said, I was trying to figure out why you're past me. He said I didn't want to damage since that was a solid steel car. Back then, those cars were steel. Compared to a plastic, it would destroy. So we had a hard day trying to figure out how to get this car to his mom's place. We broke the towing rope twice. So I said, "Well, last minute idea would be have to push you behind and stuff." I said, he said, "Well, I won't ruin your car." I said, "Well." We gotta get your car to your mom's. You don't want a ticket or anything. So, got there and we talked. I says, me and my friends, he says, miss those good old days in school. I said, yeah, sometimes I wish we were in school still. We were doing crazy things in school. <laughs> it was fun too. And stuff. So, well, talk to you later. And I hope you like this story. Bye now.